Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will learn how to load and unload parquet data in Snowflake. So to load and unload parquet data, and we need to create a database, and we need to create a database warehouse to run this activity. So I will go through those um, um, activities, how to create a database and how to create warehouse and how to create a uh, file format and how to create a temporary stage to hold that uh, parquet uh, data and we will load that data into table so let me go through the sample data today we're going to load so this is the sample data we're going to load into the table in snowflake this is the parquet data And we will load the sample parquet data into separate columns in a relational table directly from staged data files and avoiding the need for a staging table. And I will also show you how to unload data from that relational snowflake table data into separate columns in a parquet file. I'm logging into snowflake account to log into snowflake account just type snowsql u and username and we need to enter the snowflake account enter and the password now i will create a database first I will name my database name as database01. Now database is created successfully. So I will create a target relational table for the parquet data. This table is temporary. The temporary table means it is only available duration of the user session and is not visible to other users. I will create a temporary table. My temporary table name is cities and we can see the attributes here, continent, country and city. So I will create this temporary table. Now I will create a file format object that specify the parquet file format type. It accepts the default values for other options. So I will create a file format and the file format name is a parquet underscore format and type is parquet. Let's create this file format. File format successfully created. Now I will create a temporary internal stage that references the file format object. It is similar to temporary tables, temporary stages are automatically dropped at end of event. So here the temporary stage is created successfully. And now uh, we need a warehouse. So to run any activity in Snowflake, so we must create a warehouse. So I will create a warehouse now. So my warehouse size is X small and it is auto suspend in five minutes, auto resume, true. If we, if we don't enable this, then we have to manually start this warehouse. So I mentioned here, auto resume is equal to true initially suspended yes true when i created initial suspend true and it will automatically resume when i am running some activities so let me create this warehouse so my warehouse is successfully created now i will run i will run a put statement to bring that data into this state so i have the file exist in my local mission uh, i will bring the file here 
So put file and desktop, and this is my file. I put I put that data into series dot pocket, and let me bring that data. Yes, it is successfully loaded into the staging. So we can see that sources cities dot pocket and target cities dot pocket and source size 866 and target size is 866. Source compression pocket. Okay, so the status is uploaded. Now I will load this data into a relational table. Okay, so let me load this data into my relational table and remember our relational table name as we mentioned as city so copy into cities table from select continent where cat country name where cat and country city back and load this data from the stage into this relational table and a select query in the copy statement identifies a number set of columns in the in the data files we are loading from note that all parquet data is stored in a single column dollar one so cast element values to the target column data types okay, let me load this data into cities table now the data loaded successfully into this relational table and here we can see the status as loaded and rows pass three rows loaded three and error scene zero and no all null values okay so now i will query the relational table i will just say select start from cities so we will see the data. Yeah, so here we can see all the data that we loaded from the parquet file and we have three records, Europe, continent and country France, and we can see the data. So now we successfully loaded data into this relational table. So I will discuss again. So what are the steps we did so far? So we created database and we created a temporary table this is only available until the user session um, and we created a file format and we created a temporary stage to hold the data and we created a warehouse to run these activities in snowflake and we kept the size as x small and auto suspend part and we bring that file into staging and we loaded data from that stage into relational table and we query the table and we see the data so now i will discuss how to unload parquet data from relational table so it's the same thing so we're going to use this copy statement so we will unload the city stable columns into a parquet file optionally flatten the city column array and unload the child elements to a separate column so to retain the column names in the output file. So we use header equal true copy option. So copy into this stage and park it. And from the series table, let me run this. And this activity activity is completed and here we can see rows unloaded 21 and the size input byte and output byte so everything is ran successfully so now i will query from this staged parquet file let me query from this staged parquet file and see if we have data available Yes, we have data available in this parquet file. So that means we successfully unloaded data from this relational table into parquet file. So far we covered how to load and unload parquet data in Snowflake. So first we did like, you know, load into relational table into Snowflake. So we created database, we created file format, we created stage and we loaded data into snowflake relational table and after that we unloaded data from that relational table into parquet file we use that copy statement 
So if you have any questions on this loading and unloading parquet data in Snowflake, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.